the range of modifications of the fifth generation VW Golf has been expanded. In addition to the traditional three and five door hatchbacks, the four door Jetta sedan and the five door variant station wagon, the Golf Plus compact car and its pseudo off road version of the Cross Golf, as well as the elegant Coupe Cabriolet with its own name EOS, created on the basis of the Golf, were added. And that's not to mention the hot versions of the GT, GDI, and R32 hatchbacks. With such a variety, they tried to attract new buyers, in particular, those who were not satisfied with the set of modifications of their predecessor. And the new versions have found their admirers, who are many in Ukraine. Since VW positions these cars as separate models, today we will look at the consumer qualities of the most characteristic golf, conventional hatchbacks and station wagons. So long. The quality of the finish and fit of the parts is impeccable. Carefully calibrated ergonomics of the cabin. There are no complaints about either visibility or sound insulation. The seats, even in the basic versions, have good lateral support. An important advantage compared to its predecessor is a noticeably larger supply of legroom for rear passengers, since in the gallery the knees of a tall person will not rest against the backs of the front seats. VW Golf V added in size, but this did not make it heavier. On the contrary, thanks to a taller chubby body with wide wheel arches and headlights that seem to squint because of the overhanging hood, it looks more like a muscular athlete in a baseball cap pulled down smartly over his eyes. The model as a whole began to be perceived as more youthful. The corrosion resistance of the Golf V is good, even in the places where the paint is chipped, the metal resists the onslaught of the red disease for a very long time. In addition, the entire bottom is closed from dirt, salt and damaged by plastic shields. There are no complaints about the condition of the body parts. High passive safety, according to the results of Euro NCAP crash tests in 2004, the model won the maximum 5 stars. The interior design of the VW Golf V will not surprise you with innovative delights. Rather, on the contrary, pedantic German rationality dominates. Everything is in the usual places and subject to the strict requirements of ergonomics. It takes a minimum of time to get used to the car. Compared to its predecessor, the wheelbase of the VW Golf V has increased by 65 mm. Due to this, they carved out an additional supply of legroom for the rear passengers, and now even tall people are comfortable inside, see photo. The only inconvenience is that the high and wide central tunnel of the body interferes with the legs of the average passenger. The build quality of the interior is high, even with time nothing creaks or breaks inside, and the equipment works almost without failure. Of the characteristic problems, we note the failure of the air conditioning compressor on cars of the first years of production, 2004 to 2006. Moreover, if the car was regularly serviced at a company service, then domestic VW dealers change the failed parts of the air conditioner for free. There may be problems with power windows, see photo, weaknesses. The luggage compartments of hatchbacks are quite roomy, but still our utility motorists should take a closer look at the station wagon, the cargo compartment of this car is much larger, especially with the rear seats folded down, 505-1495 liters versus 350-1305 liters. Weaknesses of the car Power windows malfunction, when the glass is closed, it then goes down by itself. In most cases, flashing the control brain helps. A characteristic weak point of all FSI units is the failure of individual ignition coils. On the oldest and most worn examples, the rear caliper calipers may rattle. In this case, they are treated with the so-called solid lubricant. During operation, the robotic DSG turned out to be more problematic than the classic mechanics. Engine. An extensive line of powertrains was intended for the Golf V, and each of them is quite realistic to meet on a car. Most cars are equipped with gasoline engines, and the most massive is a 1.6 liter. Of the diesel engines, the 1.9 liter unit is more common. The most trouble-free gasoline engine is the 8-valve 1.6 liter MPI. Difficulty starting a cold 1.4 liter MPI engine on a 2004 to 2005 car was noted. VW later changed the manufacturer of the fuel injectors and the problem was solved. A characteristic drawback of the FSI 1.4L and 1.6L units is the fragility of the timing chain. It can stretch out and require replacement along with the hydraulic tensioner to 120 to 150,000 kilometers in 2.0 liters FSI timing belt. Another malfunction of all FSIs is the failure of individual ignition coils. Moreover, 
the manufacturer organized a company for the free replacement of failed parts, including through domestic dealers. In 2.0 liter FSI engines, a break in the factory corrugations of the exhaust system was also noted, two pieces are used, and the timing belt does not take care of the interval prescribed by the manufacturer of 180,000, Minders advised reducing this period to 90,000 kilometers. Of the diesel units, the 1.9-liter engine is more reliable. In the 2.0-liter turbo diesel, fuel injectors failed. However, low-quality parts are replaced by the manufacturer under warranty. Otherwise, the fuel equipment of solar units digests our diesel fuel quite well. Turbines also last a long time. Many owners of diesel golf versus praise them for their efficiency. With a quiet ride in the city, it is quite possible to fit into a consumption of about 6 liters per 100. Transmission. Choose mechanics, most Golf V have a drive to the front axle. In its arsenal, there are also all-wheel drive versions of 4Motion, equipped with an electronically controlled Haldex clutch, which connects the rear wheels when the front wheels slip. Versions 4X4, exotic. Golf V was equipped with 5 and 6-speed manual transmissions, as well as 6 and 7-speed dual-clutch robotic DSGs with an adaptive control program that can adapt to driving style and change the shift point, as well as having a sport mode. DSG can create problems. There are problems with the ECU, mechatronics, which is manifested by jerks when switching. In 6-speed, as a rule, when switching from 1st to 2nd gear, and in 7-speed, also when reverse is turned on. In the best case, it is possible to carry out self-adaptation of the clutch at a proprietary service station by flashing the computer, and if this does not help, replace the worn-out clutch package. In the mechanics, after 100,000 kilometers, where the dual bearing was noted, manifested by increased noise of operation. In diesel versions, a two-mass flywheel wears out by a run of 150 to 160,000 kilometers, a characteristic knock is heard when shifting gears. Steering. Thanks to informative steering and independent front and rear suspensions, the Golf V has good stability and handling. Driving it actively is a pleasure, it holds the road well both at high speeds and when cornering quickly. Suspension. An independent McPherson is used in front, and a multi-link in the back. Anti-roll bars are installed on both axles. In general, the chassis is durable. So, in the front suspension, after 80,000 kilometers, the rear silent blocks of the front levers wear out. Stabilizer struts can last about 100,000 kilometers, and the front silent blocks up to 140,000 kilometers. The stabilizer bushings last much longer, and they are rarely replaced. It is not cheap, since the part is changed only when assembled with the stabilizer. The resource of ball bearings is about 200,000 kilometers. In the rear of multi link for a run of 100,000 kilometers, it may be necessary to replace the bushing and stabilizer strut, change separately from it. And rear shock absorber bumpers. By 120 to 150,000 kilometers, gum of the rear brake up levers wear out. The original spare part assembly is about 450 UAH. Silent blocks of the remaining rear levers are able to withstand a run of 200,000 kilometers. Wheel bearings also serve for a long time. They change only assembled with hubs, both branded and non-original. Rack and pinion steering was equipped with an electric power steering. On cars 2004 to 2006 the gearing of the rail and the electric motor wore out, manifested by a characteristic knock. Later, the node was upgraded, eliminating the problem. Tie rod ends will last 100 to 150,000 kilometers, and the rods themselves will last even longer. The braking system can disturb only on the oldest and most worn out specimens, see photo, weaknesses.